Welcome to PlantGuard, the smart automation controller. This is a getting started video to install mobile app from Google Play Store and access the controller. To install the mobile app and Android smartphones, scan the QR code in the installation and operation guide. Then, follow the link to install the PlantGuard mobile app from Play Store. Alternatively, you can go to Play Store and search for PlantGuard. You will see PlantGuard smart watering app in the search list. Click the app to install. After installation, open the app to proceed for user registration. Also a shortcut for PlantGuard will be added to your mobile home screen. PlantGuard needs an user registration to access the controller. You may go through the terms and conditions and privacy policy prior registration. Click register now to register new user. This navigates to user registration page. User needs a valid email ID, as the verification code will be sent to the given email ID. After entering valid email ID, click send code. Check in your email inbox for verification code from Botberry Solutions. In case you do not see one, please refresh your inbox or check in spam folder. Enter the verification code received in your email. If the verification code time is expired, you need to go back to login screen and retry the registration. Now type the password for your login. Click the I symbol in the side of password field in case you want to see a clear text password. Once done, click the register now button. Upon successful registration, you will be redirected to devices list home screen. Now having the user registered, the next step is to add the controller to the user account for accessing. For this, the controller needs a Wi-Fi network with internet access. The Wi-Fi settings will be automatically sent to the controller while adding the controller. So ensure that your Android mobile phone is on the same Wi-Fi network as that of the controller. This is required for the first time. Afterwards, they can be in any network. Prior to adding the controller via mobile app, make sure that the router, mobile device and the controller are close to each other. Also, the auto Wi-Fi configuration requires 2.4 GHz band. If you have a dual Wi-Fi band, please turn off the 5 GHz band during registration. After everything is set, please power on the controller. Make sure the Wi-Fi LED in the controller is red. Otherwise, press the end button on the side of controller and hold for a few seconds. In the mobile app, click the plus button to add the controller. This opens a smart Wi-Fi configuration page. Please key in your Wi-Fi password and click connect. This operation may take a few minutes. Once the controller receives the Wi-Fi settings, it reboots and connects to Botberry Cloud Server. If everything goes well, you should see the Wi-Fi LED in a constant green. After successful Wi-Fi settings, the mobile app automatically opens a QR code scanner. Scan the QR code located on the side of the controller box. Now, configure a meaningful name for your controller and click Add. Once the controller is added successfully, you should see the controller status as active in the app screen. Next step is to perform a quick testing prior installing the controller. Prior testing, you need to perform physical wiring connections between the controller, valves, and sensors. The required wires and connectors are provided if you are installing the controller from Dripkit. Insert the two-pin, black male connector in the wire to the two-pin, female connector in the valve. Similarly, insert the three-pin, male connector in the wire to three-pin, female connector in the sensor. Finally, insert the green color screw terminal in the appropriate controller port. For more details, refer the wiring diagram section in the controller installation and operation guide. Now, click on the controller to navigate to controller dashboard. The top section provides information about the controller connectivity, power consumption, local time and Wi-Fi signal strength. The bottom section provides zone-specific controls and sensor data. Each zone in the list is mapped to a port in the controller. The details about various features and its options are covered in controller usage guide. 
Click on the zone to navigate to zone specific page. Here you can find zone manual on and off controls and zone history for the last five days. To manually turn on a zone, click the zone on off toggle button. In the pop-up for testing, key in one minute and submit. A click sound is heard in the valve. The program LED in the controller is on as well. Additionally, the zone progress, start time and the remaining time details are displayed. Further, the power consumption in the controller system widget is non-zero when zones are on and valves are physically connected. You can wait for the completion or manually turn off the zone. Once the zone is turned off, the event is shown in history and the last run zone status is updated in the app. Finally, let's add a program for automatic scheduling of zones. For this, tap the three dots menu on the top right corner of the controller dashboard. Click on the program settings. Initially the list is empty. Click the add button to add a new program. Users can add up to 30 programs. Now, provide a name for the program. Specify the program start time. You may add or remove additional start times to turn on the program for more than one time in a day. Select the program schedule as per your need. Now, specify run duration for one or more zones. To enable or disable this program at any time, use the toggle button on the top. Finally, click Submit. In the future, to update the program, click the pencil icon. PlantGuard provides real-time alerts and notifications to users in mobile app. Click the bell icon and notification icon in the top to see for any alerts or notifications. For any queries or technical issues, please visit our website, botbarisolutions.com, or reach us at support at botbarisolutions.com.